So, Oliver, today we've had the news, uh, long awaited, I guess, of um, the merger between Dixon's and Carphone Warehouse. Um, how do you, how, what do you think of it? Well, uh, we, we start from the point of view, I guess, that it's a merger and a merger of equals, and this is something that we on Lex have very often been very skeptical about most recently in the case of Publicis and Omnicom. Their merger of equals fell apart last week. And if you look into history, other, other deals, structures, and merger of equals uh, haven't really come off very well. You think about Daimler Chrysler, you think about AOL Time Warner, all these mergers of equals that kind of fell apart. So from that standpoint, you were a little sort of suspicious. That said, these two businesses are of equal size. Their market caps were about equal. Their net profits are about equal. And they've gone some lengths to, to make sure that, uh, that it's a sort of equal merger, including giving, it seems, everybody at the upper echelons a job in the new business. It's a, yeah, yeah. quite an unwieldy top management structure. There's a chairman and two vice chairmen and a chief executive and deputies and other chief executives. There's an awful lot of senior management there coming from both sides of the business. So they've gone to a lot of lengths to make this seem like a merger of equals, but I, I don't think that really helps the stability of what is already a, a very unstable way of doing deals. Mm. So there doesn't seem to be any clear cost cutting. Uh, the, no, uh, what is the, the rationale really for this uh, merger? Well, the traditional rationale of any deal will be cost-cutting, but there's not very much of that in this. There's a, there's a little bit here and there, a few percentage points of the combined cost base. But the rationale, as they put it, um, is, is something much bigger. They talk a lot about the Internet of Things. This is where your mobile phone controls your fridge and your central heating and your TV and your stereo and every single sort of item in your home, every appliance in your home is connected to each other and connected to the internet and controlled by you via a mobile phone. And the idea is that by bringing Dixon's and Carphone Warehouse together, they'll be in a very good position to explain to the, the, the wider public exactly what all these systems can do and, and to help install them, which is kind of very nice in theory, but it's a bit woolly. As, as investors, the kind of the investors tend to like solid numbers and cost savings when it comes to, to deals. And the rationale here is far sort of more vague and far more woolly. Mm. So it seems it's a bit more of an association rather than, than a merger, is that right? Yeah, well for the moment they're keeping the two operating businesses separate. Each of the operating business will have its own chief executive. So the, the, they're not making any promises to bring the two businesses together in a big way. I, I guess we'll have to see down the line what they manage to do in terms of combining them and getting savings and perhaps getting more than they've promised. But the, the rationale, is it, it's a bit thin at the moment. It doesn't seem like a, a really strong deal, and, and I think unsurprisingly shares in both companies have fallen this morning. Yeah, a weird one. Okay, thanks a lot, Oliver.